Um, so, oh, Casper, did I put the crown on Rosmex by mistake? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I hope I wasn't looking. <laughs> I didn't, but uh, that's interesting because obviously GGU have first picked Tass two games in a row. Yeah, uh, their first pick again this map, and Tassadar. I mean, if I had to say, I would probably say this is Tassadar's strongest map. Absolutely, the uh, wave clear, mm -hmm. incredible, and the vision as well. The and vision control is the main thing. Oh, new band. So I would also say this is Garrosh's like second best map. That seems and this is the map reasonable. They choose not to ban it. Wait, do you just not count Braxis because you hate it, or no, no. Garrosh, so count BOE? That's, that's the first map. No, BOE. No. What were you even throwing things into? The, more, the Immortal stuff? I mean, okay, the, yeah, that's really towers? strong. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't... You, no. Bias. No? Okay. Uh, sorry. I, I'm i a noob, man. You, I, only, I have you here to, mid. to teach me. You only so. brawl mid in, in BOE. All games. Right. Uh, I, I knew I was doing something wrong. I did. Like, I didn't there aren't even lanes was... on that map. No, okay. I got or you. It's just middle. In the middle of the map. Kill them. Just, just kill them. What yeah. happens when you've killed them? Do you go for their middle gate? You, you hearth because you're low. Ah. And then you. you meet everyone back at middle. Got you. Wait for them to respawn. I get you. Um, oh, dear. I, okay. If you well, look at um, Twitch chat, you will recognize they're not ready. the infection Cancel. of undead um, the that has been spread to my team. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's get a little bit more serious for a okay. moment. So Greymane was picked up by Gorge Goodalt. Uh, yeah. Obviously a very safe, strong, stable pick. And yep, he has all. Wave clear, all attacks, spell damage, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Armor. He's even got armor. Armor. That's true. Uh, Ten armor. Arthas and working. Gul'dan coming out now for coordinated Vikings. Um, obviously, Gul'dan provides a huge amount of wave clear. But what are your yeah. thoughts on that prioritization from them? Uh, yeah, Gul'dan makes sense. Arthas, uh, very strong hero. Obviously, he presses E. Everyone dies slowly. Very but. slowly. Very slowly. But they but he also can move and attack. He can so, yeah. That's good. So, I mean, we can see if he's the main tank this game, mm -hmm. or if he's solo lane. Uh, but I would imagine he's probably solo. Yeah, I think you run into slight problems um, finding engages uh, if you have Arthas as your main tank. But yeah. we'll see what very, route they want to go down. He's very stumpy, so he doesn't walk too fast. That's right. That's right. Uh, but Chromie is a response pick to Gul'dan, I think, mm -hmm. because it kind of denies the Ariel pick. So, and as well, as well, Chromie has like decent wave clear with her W, with Dragon's Breath. She's got decent wave clear. She also has that vision uh, yeah. effect and the ability to interrupt consistently from long range, which can be really useful around the objective on this map for oh, sure. I Anna know, being banned out, interesting. Yeah, nano boost Gul'dan is uh, scary sometimes. Sure. So I guess that's kind of what they're thinking. Uh, my problem is when I have a nano boost Gul'dan on my team, they decide to go Reign of Destruction because yeah, I, I mean, think that's clever. That um, that does more damage, though. So. It. I mean, it it does infinitely more damage. That's damage. true. Because Horrify does literally zero damage, so it's why would you even pick useless, it? useless, it's, worth, it's absolutely worthless. It's the same with Cast. Sure, sure. And yeah. and even Army of the Dead doesn't doesn't do that much damage. So well, you should always. Pick but I mean, Sindra goes. It doesn't do that much damage either. So it's infinitely more damage. It does at least like twelve times more damage. Twelve at times. Least. That's you, right. Have you done the maths on this? I've stage? done the I've done the math relentlessly. So I'm, I'm not going to embarrass you by coming back with the the numbers and, and telling you you're wrong. Then I already have all of the numbers in front of me. Fair what enough. do you think? I'm, what do you I, think I have written in my notepad? No, no, that's fair enough, mate. I can't uh, can't say fair on that. Because the only thing I have written in my notepad is download more hentai. Okay. Okay. Well, that's okay. that's a lie. I don't even have a notepad. 
You don't even have a notepad. Okay, well now it I'm was just all crushed. A ruse. Now I'm just crushed. You've okay. like, been lying to me all this time. So we see Genji being picked. Okay, never mind. We 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 see nothing. A DC. Being we see a DC, a DC has DC. been picked. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be uh, going back around that draft. Um, it's a good job we were being so serious and paying so much attention because I will remember exactly what both of the teams drafted at each at each point. I've, I've already forgotten. I've Hang forgotten. On. Isn't more it written about down in your game? notepad? No. Why is it I not wish. written down in your notepad? Dude? Wait. Why didn't I write that? Oh, I'm so I'm so dumb. I'm I'm disappointed frankly I have, at least the players probably i may remember. not invite you back man wait i can just like look at the uh oh okay they're just gonna finish the draft in standard mode. okay yeah that seems reasonably sensible for them because we had how many so picks they, did we have they... left just uh three what? we had gorge good alts two picks and then the last sure. pick for yeah, you're absolutely right, and it looks like they're just confirming their picks. All right, so instant lock, Leo and Muradin, obviously. Or did they? Do you think they would have like waited until the last second? They, I think they'd have kept us waiting as long as humanly possible. That's my thing. Mm, that's interesting. Um, so we've got the teams here. This looks like we should just be cracking on. This galaxy shall suffer. So we don't see the last week from... Uh... We do not. Currently uh... they're highlighting Leoric, which they cannot have. <laughs> yep. Um... I don't think they'd pick Leoric. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they would either. But they can't have it even if they want it. Okay, the drafts look correct, apart from this Leoric. On uh, the side of TCV. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, let me just like say... Five seconds left. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think there's less than five seconds, maybe negative five seconds, but... Okay, um, I'll, like, hurry them up. Yeah. Mouth out, look, let's go. Easy. <laughs> that does seem like a strong pickup for them, doesn't it? All things uh, considered. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, what? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's get these teams lined up and ready to go then. Okay. Okay, let's go. Who hasn't ready it up? Genji? Drifter? Let's reborn. Let's not do that. Um, Instantly reporting. No. Wait, I'm going to go back in the VOD and see how long it's been. Okay. okay um, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's too much effort. It does sound like a lot of effort. I didn't really believe you were going to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, here we go then into the all-important Game 3 on Tomb of the Spider Queen. What are your thoughts on these team compositions, Doge? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Leoric is massively overpowered. No, uh, just just soak 13 and then let Leoric carry the fights for Gorge Goodall. That does seem pretty reasonable. Um, the Malthior does seem like a pretty good answer to what Gorge Goodall have got, though. Um, some high hit point champs, uh, uh heroes, sorry, and yeah, just generally going to be quite effective here. I think. What are you? Um, what are your thoughts on that? I think. Yeah, I think Malfell's good here. Mm -hmm. But imagine if that was a, an Anna instead of Morales, and you had an Anna boosted Malfell. Anna was banned, I'm afraid. So. Yeah, I mean, imagine if it wasn't banned though. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm imagining. We live in a in a world where Morales was banned. We we don't actually i'm afraid however we are into the game so we're going to introduce the teams on the left hand side in blue gorge good old morpheus playing the murdin billy on rhaegar rosmex playing chromie barrock on the auric and erwin playing Greymate. and on the right side we have the coordinated vikings uh, genji being played by drifter 
uh, Malthel being played by Carax, Butch on Arthas, Nano on Gul'dan, and X-Ray on Lieutenant Morales. Indeed, and um, both teams squaring off in the mid lane, but it looks like coordinated Vikings don't really want to make anything of this here. Malthiel already rotating down to the bot lane. Going to see a very standard 1-4 setup uh, at the start of these, this game from these teams. Uh, yeah, I think uh, in that solo lane, I do think Malthiel wins that lane. Mm -hmm. I think it's... Oh, there's the pressure of the Genji gank as well. Forgot about that. Yeah, Genji, obviously the uh, player that was on Tychus last game, already showing uh, quite strong willingness to make that rotation down to the bottom lane and put additional pressure onto Leoric. Um, does leave the three men here to uh, face off against four members of the enemy team, but as long as they're careful, that should be fine. Genji now with the rotation back up. Yeah. And four in the middle lane. Pro uh, getting some great hits. Yeah. Already seven stacks on her um, built-in quest for the Q. So uh, that's a very nice start at this stage in the game. Yeah, Murden stacking up his Stormbolt as well on Arthas. Mm -hmm. Very uh, free target for him, so at least yeah. that Stormbolt, Stormbolt isn't being used to pressure the backline. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it, it's a, it's always a toss-up, isn't it, between trying to make sure you rack up those stacks as quickly as possible, get that piercing effect after 25 stacks, and uh, using it to actually try and pressure for kills, which can be uh, kind of tri oh huge Ooh. damage morales. Yeah, that was a lovely little combo from Rosmex on the Chromie, really chunking X-ray down to uh, almost no health, forcing him to go back and tap here. Genji comes out. Oh wow, that was. Is is he map hacking? Massive is damage that... being traded back and forth. Uh, oh, early. Oh. The death coil. And uh, just the damage as well from Gul'dan there, of course. Genji diving on, trying to put additional pressure onto the Chromie. Not able to actually get anything there. You've seen the bot lane, the Leoric actually coming into his own in this lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he certainly seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I wonder whether we'll see a uh, a response once again from the Genji there. Oh, the root on Grumley. Oh, Morpheus is in a bad spot. He does drop very low, and he is actually going to fall. Yeah, he was a bit uh, a bit over eager, I would say. But look at that chromey stacks. 25 already. Wow. Three, just over <laughs> three minutes in. I don't think he's missed a single spell this game. <laughs> I mean, that isn't true. I have seen a couple of misses, but uh, that has been some great accuracy from Rosmax there. Really rack. Oh, that was even really close. Uh, despite being it. completely blind. He misses. Oh, Leoric falls low. Roman coming with the counter gank. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, Chromie. oh, Chromie with the uh, kill. Denying that herself Q the hit sack. As well. <laughs> How did he do it? Um, did deny himself the uh, the stack there by getting the kill with W, but yeah. uh, what, what it's an blunders. acceptable trade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see the Chromie pick really paying off somehow. Even though it's not like it's not like amazing here, but he's just hitting everything, so that'll help. Already ten regen loads on that quest as well. Um, so both of the quests on Chromie making extremely good progress for the uh, time we are into the game. Yeah. Bit of another rotation down towards the bot lane from both teams there, but neither uh, neither team really pushing it home. Barok on Leo is now sort of pushed in. Uh, towards his gate there. We can see Genji's holding the, the two gems necessary for the turn in. Morpheus denying it. Uh, coordinated Vikings also looking towards this top side. Obviously with the Chromie on the other side, they pretty much have to apply pressure to both of the turn ins uh, or sneak something past. Uh, Billy actually has enough to complete the turn in for oh, GG. Oh, blocking. Oh, but Greyman rolls in for the cocktail. Yeah. 
Very, uh... Oh, and oh finally, and Gorge could all grab the web weavers. Is that correct? Yes, it is. That is blue web weavers being spawned there on the side of Gorge Goodall. Very nicely that's, done by that's them. impressive. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that happened, to be honest. <laughs> oh, like, from, like, everything was in favor of the coordinated Vikings for that pain. Well, uh, the vision and the poke, of course, from Gorge Godot, just continually denying them the ability to turn in. Uh, and even when there were more players from coordinated Vikings in the top side of the map, still getting, oh, great damage again from Chromie there. Um, oh, the temporal loops. Ooh, oh, Genji. Genji goes in and that's going to be a dead Chromie. It's very difficult for Chromie to survive those kind of dives until level 11 uh, or unless somebody from the team oh, will the the button. Appeal. Very low. But as is the Leoric there and Genji with the rotation down. Oh, he's going? Oh, never mind. He, he doesn't know. Uh, he didn't see which way the Leoric went and Barok will be able to escape and back there. We can see uh, uh, the level lead, very slight level lead for uh, Gorge Goat. Yeah. Which is, uh, it's not that impressive for how much they got with that first web weaver. They got the wall in the top lane and the, little, the bottom lane. A little bit of a misstep as well there by Gorge Goat. They actually allowed that turn in from Genji on the bot side of the map. They were aware it was going on, but the delay was just a, a tiny little bit too slow, and uh, that channel was completed. Damage and cooldown from Chromie once again. Always from the Chromie. Uh, I'm going to have to have a look at the numbers incredible. here. 20,000 like, plus damage chest. from Chromie already, and only just completed the level 1 quest here. Um, 14,000 being the next highest on the cooldown. Has been hit for uh, Gorge Kadol. Looks like it's soon. Yep, here it comes for uh, Coordinated Vikings as well. Both teams indeed with that level 10. Uh, fairly standard alts for Gorge Kadol. Yeah. Yeah, nothing too surprising there. We do have Medivac coming out from Morales on um, the Coordinated Vikings here. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that the, the only surprising ult is uh, March of the Black King, uh, really? which isn't even, it's not even that surprising, but, oh, there's a big fight, I'll talk about it after. There is, but the Chromie ult was not able to be, f oh, even more damage coming out. The Chromie ult was not able to be followed up on to secure the kill there. Um, yeah, okay, so about the Leoric ult, mm -hmm. I think that it's like backline. You know, the Gul'dan and the uh, Morales. Are very I think that to Entomb, yeah. 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 yeah, Entomb could have gotten value. Yeah, but obviously, reasonable. March. March is a very strong ult. March because is... if you're marching in the back line as well, mm -hmm. it's a lot of damage on them and oh, your skill. So. Yeah. March has definitely gained a lot of favor since it got buffed most recently. Uh, Greymane diving in onto... Oh, and gets the kill. Great Ancestral Dragon. there. Dragonblade going out. I don't think there's going to be a lot of value to be had from that. Uh, although... Oh, Arthas. Arthas is going in. Hello, I am Arthas. Genji dives in again. Secures the kill on Greymane. And that's enough for the reset. Going to be able to dash out of there. Just barely dodging the fatal damage from Chromie. So very nicely there's done. There's the Yep. Yeah. You can see there why Medivac was a good pickup for Morales in this matchup. Going to need that uh, survivability and that escape option um, as, uh, as she potentially gets closed down. Coordinated Vikings <laughs> trying to secure the next hand in for themselves, but again, the delays coming in from the Chromie here doing a lot of work. Oh, we can see Gul'dan trying to sneak the pay in the bottom lane. Temporal loop coming out on Genji. Gul'dan does secure the pay in Genji with the loop, but uh, not going to be enough follow-up to kill him. Arthur's popping the army, going in. Time deep. Time like dodging the horrify. Yeah, very nicely done oh. there by Chromie, but Muradin mm. drops low. Genji dives in. Arthur's does fall though, but so does Greymane. 
and once again coordinated vikings coming out just a little bit ahead uh, off the back of this fight here yeah well worth it because they have the web weavers pushing mm. and getting rid of that Greyman, which is a lot of the you know an e web weaver hero i guess <laughs> <laughs> an e an e you know, because he does so much damage. Genji the making a super aggressive play onto the Chromie here, uh, way under the fort. Chromie throwing out the damage does manage to survive, but that is the E quest completed for Gul'dan, so very nicely done, and that's going to be a uh, nice damage hike for uh, the coordinated Vikings here. Yeah, I'd just like to mention uh, Morale's build mm. with the uh, level 13, that Shrink Ray and a grenade. Kinda. The yeah. Damage reduction. Uh, could be a very big deal against that Chromie. Sure, yeah. She's an easy that. target. Ooh, another pick off by Chromie there. So you're gonna kill onto Malthiel. Now looking towards the Genji. Nice uh, anticipation of the trait usage there. Not quite judging the uh, the angle. Dreyfus was gonna go for correctly, but uh, if he had done, that would have been another kill there. Racked up for the Chromie. Yeah, this is a pain for Gorge Kadal. Morpheus with the uh, perfect math. Turning in his eight gems. <laughs> Very well mathed by him. I mean, counting to eight is not generally considered to be an exceptionally challenging task, but okay. Alright, well, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um. Lane pressure coming out from Gorge Goodall across the map here, uh, looking to try and get some structural damage, which they have really struggled to get so far in this game. Yeah, we can see the top web weaver has spawned quite a bit back because the lane was pushed in, so it's not going to be a threat for a little while. Yeah. Uh, the bottom lane is being cleared by Malfeo and Genji, so it won't do that much, so mid's kind of their only option at the moment. Oh, and we can see the massive system shock value from Morales. And uh, Leoric sounds as well, he has the ominous race. Yeah, that's a big deal, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, just putting that on like the Genji Dragon Blade or the Gul'dan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hugely impactful. Very, very, very big deal. Oh, temporal loop on Morales. But the follow up, oh. not there. No. Not even Chromie followed up from that one. No, it's a little strange. Uh, the, the skill shots have been on point. I didn't quite see. I guess they must have been on cooldown um, at that moment in time. Yeah, he's almost almost done with this quest. So is uh, Murden as well. Yeah. That is, in fact, Murden done. It's also. Oh, the damage again from oh. Chromie. Absolutely chunking Malfiel there. Arthas, though, is looking to engage. Genji oh, comes in blade. with the Dragon Blade. We're going to see the That's Leoric. Here coming. he comes. Ominous Wraith coming out. Uh, Horrify comes out as well. Uh, but Chromie still Very surviving. Greymane does go down. And uh, Genji just barely able to get away. Chromie in. Oh, oh taking the, the kill. Uh, but I don't think Chromie's going to be able to escape here. Genji and Arthur's Leoric. both very low, but very Leoric low. is too. He's going to go down, and this looks like coordinated Vikings going to be able to clean oh, up this team fight in the end. Uh, as yeah, Rainbow was, goes down as well. Four for that one. That was scary. Yeah, it was a very very tight team fight in a variety of uh, angles there, but yeah. ultimately coordinated Vikings actually able to come out on top. Yeah, these teams are very well matched for each other. All mm -hmm. of the, pretty much all of the fights in both these teams have have looked like this. Yeah, completely very, agree. Very uh, and I mean, I have to say, you know, Gorge Goodall are known for being a, a team that uh, like team fighting and and that are good at team fighting. So uh, I'm very impressed with the relative newcomers of Coordinated Vikings. Oh, Liaric no. dropping being pretty perfect. low here. And Genji comes in once again, Malthus securing the kill, but Morales goes down as a counter kill. Murden falls, Genji and Malthus popping off again. And as you say. Just like to mention the gem counter for both these teams. Uh, zero gems for Gorge Goodall. They have lost them all. 
Well, they they did have nearly everybody on the team die. I have to be honest. I think they didn't. They weren't carrying that many gems before that last team fight because it was just after um, a turn in the team fight where they ended up going four for one. So I don't think they lost loads of gems. I think they just didn't have very many anyway because right, they'd used them all on that hand in. But yeah. another turn in now for coordinated Vikings and. Uh, this is a scary time for Gorge Godot as they are going to be looking at keep pressure from yeah, this Morales, objective. Morales is, is a bit late, but she can meta back in, and here she comes. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be pressuring this top lane as 5. Always a good choice to uh, focus towards that top lane. Yeah, the boss. It is the boss lane indeed. Um, and very aggressive play. We do see Leoric is already visible. Engine. Oh! Chromie. Much damage. Just Chromie. massive chunk damage coming out from Chromie. Really impressive here. Uh, and that is a quest complete Chromie as well. So we are seeing those double sandblasts coming out. Yep. Oh, and the Muradin coming in with the double storm bolt. Dragon Blade coming out, but Horrify is there as well. And oh, Gorge Goodall are just Big absolutely win. destroying this fight. Even got the temporal loop to secure the kill onto Genji. Five for nothing trade. That is a good trade, I believe. That's a uh, no, no, it's a bad trade. You bad definitely trade. always want to go five for I'm one. Dude, I'm so glad I've got you here with me because <laughs> I I know nothing about this game apparently. Um, Gorge good old looking to make an aggressive play with their team opponents completely dead. Is this a game ending push? Can they call here? Uh they can yeah. They can go for it. I think. Even even if they don't get it. You know it's looks it's like exciting. they are gonna pull back, get their level twenty, get a boss, and uh, and try and end that way, which I don't mind yeah. at all. I think Bold. that's probably a little bit of a safer play than trying to go direct onto the core. Yep. Looks like uh, this is going to be a very hard defense for the coordinated Vikings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that they they really maximized this Gorge Godal going for the keep and yes. also having Leoric soak the lanes. It was uh, very intelligent by them. Yeah, great I th late I game decision making for sure. If if I was calling the shots, I would have definitely just like ran at that core and then <laughs> probably lost the game. But it would well, have been I don't think probably lost the game, but certainly possibly lost the game. And I think that's what uh, Gorge Godot are trying to avoid. Genji Blast. now coming in yep. once again. Ominous Dragon Rape Blade. is down though. Uh, Dragon Blade goes down. Timeout coming in from Chromie as she is going to be kept alive. Kill comes down first onto Arthas, then Genji. Mouthio trying to get value, but he is going to fall as well. And the boss is already on the core. The shields are getting chunked. And oh, and another kill as Gul'dan is not able to make it home. There is no chance for uh, oh, Coordinated Vikings to make a defense here. This is going to be good game, well played. Game set and match going over to Gorge Goodalt with a 2-1 victory. But that was extremely close.